social media for product innovation. But of those, only about a third or 33% in the graph on the right have a plan and only an additional 20% are developing a plan or a strategy. So that leaves 46% acting with no strategy in place. Um, additionally, we also found that most companies are using social media for less than 5% of their products or services. So what does that really mean to the question of strategy? Well, the 70% is telling us that this isn't just a fad anymore, um, but there is action despite lack of strategy. And as Jim mentioned earlier, this is the early adoption phase, so companies are piloting and experimenting with what they're doing. Um, next slide, Jim. So based on those results and conclusions, our first recommendation in terms of strategy is for companies to think big. So even though it makes sense for social product innovation to be an evolutionary rather than a revolutionary process, um, you need to first of all have an overall strategy and a plan, and this plan should align with your company's business and innovation goals. So the first step is to do a little work and develop your strategy. Keep in mind as you're doing this that there are lots of starting points you can pick from and recognize that your strategy may need to adjust as you go along, so you'll need to be flexible. But again, and most importantly, your social product innovation strategy should, should support the business and innovation goals that you already have in place as a company. Great. Thank you, Amy. And Ron, can uh, you share some of your thoughts on the strategy, please? I, I sure will. Thanks, Jim. So if you're going to use social tools, all these social media tools for innovation, I think the first thing you have to acknowledge is that there's different types of innovation to pursue. And in that upper right quadrant, you know, you have innovation as a result of pure research, and that's hardly